it's unboxing time i wanted to share with you guys some of the subscription boxes that i have i thought we'd do a battle of the boxes so we could compare which box is the better value and which one got you the biggest bang for your buck we're going to do a comparison of these three boxes to see which one is the best so if you want to see who won the battle of the boxes for this month stay tuned I thought we would start with the most expensive box and then go down. Um, so the first box up is BoxyCharm. It is $21 a month. You get five full-size items. They do provide you a list of what the products are inside. And I love their packaging. So for this month, sorry, this is what it looks like. For this month, the theme is Girls Just Want to Have Sun. So, so cute. And as always on the back, they tell you the products and the values. Right off the top, I see a brightening mask. And this is exclusively made for BoxyCharm. There are three of them inside of it. And let's see what this is. It's for a uh, pharmacy coconut gel mask. It's a three pack. The value is $24. And it is a hydrating mask. And it has purple broccoli extract. That's interesting. But you get three of them. And they're the ones that eat the whole mask you put on your face. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying to take better care of my skin. So this is definitely something that I am looking forward to. The next thing in here is from Ofra Cosmetics. I love how they have it packaged so you make sure it's not broken. And this is what it looks like. Let's see what BoxyCharm has to say. This is an oil control press powder. The value is $39.95. Use this on your favorite face brush. Apply powder in a circular motion all over. Are looking to set under your eyes, T-zone, etc. To prevent chalky finishes, sweep off excess with a large powder brush. Well, I'm slightly oily. Just came from outside, so clean brush. Let's see how chalky I am. There it is. Doesn't have a scent. I will say the packaging looks really cheap. Um, you know, for the amount of money that they're asking, almost 40 bucks, it looks a little on the cheap side. I don't see him white casting the camera, so. But I could use a setting powder. It's oil control pressed powder, so as oily as I get, I definitely like this. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. The next thing is an eyeliner for Girlactic Precision Eyeliner Marker, and it's Black Noir. And this is what it looks like. Really cute packaging. And this is a full size item, it's $20. Soft Precision Tip creates a dramatic line. So let's check that out. That is black. I like how precise it is. So when I start doing my cat eyes, I like this. And I thought I had too many black eyeliners, but said what makeup collection ever. So I definitely like that one. Luxe Nail Polish. This is a really cute color, but this is how it comes. And the Lux nail polish is $18, one to two coats, and then top with your favorite top coat. I don't know how I feel about this because I'm like, if I wanted nail polish, I could buy my own nail polish. But my hands do need, oh, that's interesting, that popped off. It's definitely a wide brush. It's like a blue with violet undertone. I don't know why it completely broke. I mean, what does that say about packaging? So, I'm just going to put that aside, but y'all saw that. And then the last thing is Cougar by... For a minute, I'd say Paula Deen, but that can't be right. 
Paula Dunn, and the shadow is called Diamond Kiss. Cute packaging. I love the. It looks like it's a gold, so let me peel this up a little bit. It's a body and face shimmer, but it has shifters inside of it, so I'm just going to peel back one. So that's it right there, and it's like, um, you can see right here where I'm trying to sp spread it out. I'm looking forward to giving this a try, especially if you were a deep V dress or shirt and you want to give your deglatte like a little bit of a shimmer with it. I probably will have to research on the correct brush to use with this, but I like the idea. So for my BoxyCharm, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you guys the price of this one. This is $16. So the total price for this box is $117. You received an eyeshadow that can be used as a body shimmer as well, a nail polish, a press oil control powder, an eyeliner, and a facial mask. So you got a little bit of everything. So let's check out the next box and that is an Odie but a goodie and that is my Sephora play box. This is $10 a month. It's through Sephora. Love, love, love this. You get five to six items. Usually that six item is one full size item, but it's not always guaranteed. The other five items are usually deluxe sample sizes of the products sold in Sephora. And this is what the inside of the play box looks like. And they definitely have changed their format. Before it was a box within a box, and now it is a bag within a box. So I definitely find that interesting. I feel like they're trying to compete with someone, but their bags are slightly different. And you could definitely use these for a lot of different things. It always comes with this little list and the play card. And let's see if they continued it. Yes, they did. On the back of your play card, you can see the full size price of all the items if you decide to purchase it. And just remember that this play card, when taken to Sephora, allows you uh, an additional 50 points when you make a purchase. And that's one of the, I don't know why I popped. That's one of the benefits of the Sephora box. And the theme is the minimalist. So that's the theme for this month. And you can see a description of all the products that they have and how to use it. I will definitely be reading that later on. Let's see what's inside. First thing is Bumble and Bubble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. For great hair days without the heat or hassle. Okay, I might try that. Let's. I'll definitely have to read up on this. It helps to reduce frizziness and it keeps your hair from being dry, uh, dry as well as improve strength without using a dryer and if you wanted the full size value of this it would be thirty dollars that's something i'm like hmm, i don't know i have to wait and see until i try it the next item i'm pulling out is a bare minerals bare skin sheer sun sun bronzer and if the shade is like this, I don't think I can use this. So let's see. Here is this sample size. This is a this was deluxe size, deluxe sample. This is definitely a sample size. It says shake. I'm really good at reading instructions. So you can see what the top of it looks like. And let's come on. Okay, that's the color of it right there. I might be giving this to a coworker because I don't think that this is going to, other than making it shiny, I'm not 100%, I mean, like, it didn't even add color. So let's see what this thing is supposed to do. Give you a beach bronze, natural sheen, softly sculpted glow. Okay, this is going to my coworker because I have a natural bronze and if I want a soft sheen, I have other things that I can do. I'm sure that she will appreciate it, but this is it. Not everyone who gets a Sephora box can use it. So I, to me, this was a not so good decision on their part. But let's see, throw this out. Ooh, love this one. I have a full size version of this. Their Real Mascara from Benefit. Love this. I. There's so many good things you can say about it, so you don't have to worry about that. Love this mascara. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you decide that you wanted the Benefit Their Real Mascara, it is $24. And if you wanted the Bare Minerals 
bare skin bronzer it's $28 the next thing I pulled out is a Becca black back light priming filter it's what it looks like right here so that's what the product looks like it's like a soft beige and I put way too much and that's it rubbed into my skin it does give a shimmer so be aware of that so let's see what it says about this the Becca backlight priming filter is a shimmery makeup primer acts as a soft focus filter to blur imperfections and give skin a soft luminous look so I can see how they could I just wonder how your other makeup would sit on top of that it feels slightly tacky doesn't feel like slick where your makeup would slide off of it. It's kind of tacky. So I can see how your makeup would, would um, work with that. Definitely don't need a lot because, I mean, this sucker pumps out a lot. This is, would be a deluxe sample. So like this, and I can't wait to try it on with some of my other makeup products. And then two last things. This one is a Tarte SPF Tarte Guard 30. In the summer, I appreciate this everyone needs SPF even us brown skin beauties and this is a SPF 30 antioxidant infused non-chemical SPF protects without leaving sticky film I don't know if it smells like most sunscreens but let's just it doesn't smell like that. You know how sunscreens have that weird scent? It doesn't have that smell, so I like that. So I definitely look forward to using this, and I'll try it before my makeup or on those no makeup days. And if you're wondering the price for the Tarte sunscreen, it is $32. And the last thing is the Toka Beauty Fragrance, and this is a sample, and the full size would be $68. So this box, we didn't get any full size samples. Normally you get a full size one, but this time it was all deluxe samples and one regular sample size but again the box is worth ten dollars so you have to decide if that's a value for you for me this was probably a B minus box not quite a C since there were some things that I, I'm interested in trying but normally Sephora does so much better but that's everything in the Sephora box and again the box is ten dollars the last of the subscription boxes that we're gonna look at is Etsy for me, this is $12.50 because I have to pay for taxes because they have a warehouse now in Texas. So for those who don't have a warehouse in their home state, it's $10. If you have a warehouse, whatever the taxes that they charge you for your state, mine um, ended up being $12.50. So it's $2.50 for tax for Epsi. So it's more expensive than the Sephora. Inside of it, this is the theme and it's Rebel Rebel. And then on the back, it just tells you how to subscribe and how to follow them on social media. It does not provide any information on the packaging or any of the products inside. That's one thing I don't like. But here is the bag. I actually like the bag. I think it's pretty cool. It's, you know, street graffiti. I actually like that. So inside of it is purple. Just showing you the inside of the bag. And the first thing I see is two face masks. From Bora Republic, I have a Cucumber Breeze and a Pomegranate Crush. The Cucumber is smoothing and the Pomegranate is illuminating. So, uh, skincare. The second thing that I pulled out is a eyeshadow from Urban Decay. I have a few eyeshadows from Urban Decay. so. And this is what it looks like. It looks like it's a smaller pan. I think this is because this is way smaller than what I normally get. There's nothing in here that tells you what the shadow name is. So I'll have to annotate it somewhere. I'll go on Etsy and find out what the name of it is. But here is an up close look. And I think I have a dupe already for this one. This looks exactly like that. Um, Wet n Wild Club. It looks like Club from MAC. And then for my Wet n Wild, the Comfort Zone, the bottom shadow. That's... um. I'm honestly on the fence about that because while I love the idea of getting a shadow, uh, especially if you know you've got two that look similar. So I'm on the fence about that one. I was hoping if it was like a limited edition one specifically for Etsy, but it's not. And it's a really small pan. I mean, 
not even the traditional Mac size pans. Here is a Mac pan, and then here is the Urban Decay one that they provided. Let me see if I can line these up. See? Look how small that is. So, I mean, you couldn't get a regular size standard issue pan. I will play with it, but I feel like since I've already used it in my Wet n Wild palette, I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one. So, so far I have two face masks and an eyeshadow. The next thing is a blush, and I know for a fact I said no blushes. So I'm curious as to why they provided blushes. The It's um, Seraphine Botanicals, and it's Happy Biscuits is the name of the blush that they sent. It's natural, it's vegan, no mineral oils, no parabens, no phosphates, gluten-free, hyperallergenic. And this is what the inside of it looks like. Let's see if this is something that can show up on my brown skin. Can you see that? That's it right there. That looks like my finger. I'm literally, it looks like the same skin tone as my finger. It's on this finger right here. Just slightly orange. So, I'm gonna make a huge swatch right down the middle of my wrist. It has a pretty sheen, but I don't think it's my skin tone. Um, I'm going to give this to my coworker, Caitlin, because I think it might look good on her pale skin, but it's too much of a sheen, and I don't like the color. So hopefully she'll like it. I will disinfect it and give it to her, um, and I hope that she likes it. The next thing inside of the box is a eyeliner from Mirabella. And it's the Magic Marker Eyeliner, and it doesn't tell you the shade, but I'm assuming from the bottom it's going to be black. And it is black. It's a felt tip. And let's put it right next to the other one. Okay, if this one is black, can you see the difference? The other one had like a gray, it's like a slightly gray undertone black, and that's like black. It's had a really firm tip. You couldn't do a fine line, but you could definitely get a definite wing out of it. Let's see if it dries and, and goes. Because some of my blacks will like slightly fade to like a gray black. So we'll see if this one does the same. But I, I like it, even though eyeliners were on my don't list. So I got two things that were on my don't list. And then the last thing inside is a Coraline waterproof eye makeup remover and I know that this was also on my don't list so that's it right there I mean you could always use some but I have so many from Clinique I don't really need another one um, so that's it guys for my Epsi bag I have two facial mask samples I have a blush I have a small sample of a eye makeup remover a full size eyeliner pencil and then a sample size of an Urban Decay eyeshadow, which I will indicate the name somewhere, either in the description or in the video. So that's two, four, six items. Hey guys, that is it. Those were my unboxings for the month of June. I have my BoxyCharm, my Sephora, and my Epsi. I personally feel like it was a tie between Sephora and BoxyCharm. They both had things I liked and things I didn't like. Um, the fact that BoxyCharm was full size kind of pushed it up higher, but Sephora gave me products that I either love or but I wanted to try. Um, so I'd say that those two tied. I'm not thrilled with my Epsi bag because I feel like they weren't listening to the tests that I took. I specifically mentioned that I didn't want to blush because again I have a lot of blushes that I need to go through and adding one more to the pile just didn't make sense to me. Um, I know I put no eyeliner because in my Sephora or my BoxyCharm every other box I'm getting an eyeliner so I didn't need another one and I know I said no makeup removers, creams, solutions, or things like that because I have a huge collection of them and then I get this. So it's like three of the things I said don't, I got. So I'm not thrilled with that. I like the idea of the bag. I mean, it's cute. I can use it for other things throughout the year or 
you know repackage it and give it as a gift to um for christmas but um i'm i'm not feeling my first box from epsy so they've got two more months to wow me before I cancel my subscription to one of these subscription boxes. So you let me know which box wowed you, which one was uh, and which one can go. Thanks again for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.